Back in October of 2020, Gotway rolled off the assembly line their first ever suspension wheel, dubbed the EX. At the time of its inception, there were issues that plagued the wheel to the tune that Gotway pulled the plug and scrapped the wheel, leaving us enthusiasts distracted and entertained in their non-suspension version of it, the EXN. While King Song and Emotion ever-present suspension wheels started gaining momentum, the S18 and the V11 respectively, Gotway briefly slid into obscurity only to come back as Bago and wielding what has now become their grand overarching strategy of delivering a one-two drunken knockout punch of multiple suspension wheels that holds a shelf life of every bit of six months, three and a half years in dog's life. And although these suspension wheels die a quick death by replacement of their more powerful self, they do have an ever-presence in the EUC community because they do offer something for every enthusiast needs and wants, barring the desire of the latest and greatest, of course. And although the EX20, soon to be the EX30, has already succumbed to this fate, it still has its place in these EUC streets. Don't believe me? Sit back and relax as I show you these receipts. But before I get into this video, I would like to thank Free Motion Shop for sponsoring this video and providing me the EX20. Free Motion Shop not only has a vast array of current and former EUCs at very competitive prices, but they do also offer a select number of accessories to include spike CNC alloy footrests with multiple color schemes, EUC wheel coverings, power pads, and fast chargers to name a few. They also provide battery improvements for their newer wheels that encompasses waterproofing, making them fire retardant, providing structure support, and thermal balancing while the wheel is in operation. So whenever you are in the market for an EUC, make your journey count with Free Motion Shop. Without further ado, let's get into this review. We interrupt this program to bring you this message. Now back to our program. Where does one begin in describing the EX20 when the EX30 will be dropping soon and how will it fare when it does? First, let's address the elephant in the room. It is not a secret that Bago ever evolving suspension wheels continue to saturate the market at such breakneck speed that the distraction they cause take away from the rush of emotions an enthusiast have for a wheel recently purchased and have yet to complete the breaking period. In other words, it's hard to form an allegiance to one particular wheel when it is bound to die a quick death the moment its successor is leaked to the press. With Bagot's incessant desire at pumping out wheels, those that are predecessed tend to fade into obscurity and are likened to that of being has-beens. Whether it is or isn't Bagot's intent on fading the EX20 into obscurity, this wheel with its austere design delivers what one would expect from a street suspension wheel. And by street, I don't mean it's not capable of tackling off-road terrain, far be it from the truth. But with its weight hovering at 108.6 pounds, the practicality of using such a wheel for serious off-roading, although doable, can be downright challenging nonetheless. Because I'm tardy for the party with this review, and for the sake of your time, I'll spare you the redundancy of going over the specifications of the EX20. But what I will reiterate is the performance of the EX20. On a range test which consisted of various speeds in excess of 45 miles per hour, I was able to rack up 101.55 miles with 14% left on the battery. And although EUC World Apps show the mileage as 163.43 miles, after cross-referencing it, the app was actually accumulating it in kilometers. The overall undisguised design and makeup of the EX20 is what makes this wheel the most durable wheel ever to roll off Bagot's assembly line. And I say that begrudgingly because, as the saying goes, a chain is as strong as its weakest link. And since approximately 90% of the EX is made up of weak metal, as is indicated here by the fact its metal isn't attracted to magnetic properties,
the EX20 with this subpar material can surprisingly take a beating. Now of course, there is a threshold as to the amount of a beating it can sustain. As much as the weight can have an effect on the EX20's performance, one would not know it after the initial push off. Out the gate, the EX20 isn't going anywhere fast, but I'm here to tell you, once you get going, it makes up those lost seconds with its low end torque. Because of its butter smooth acceleration, its weight become a non-factor. The EX20 is remarkably one of the most 100 plus pound suspension wheels to grace our presence, even for a lightweight such as myself. Thrusting about and carving is done with little effort, thanks to its high footrest, overall weight distribution, and of course its battery and motor ratio. Hitting speed bumps at relatively low and higher speeds was smooth and the responsiveness stable. The EX20 shock, which is akin to the master, compression and rebound damping was effective at distributing the right amount of force that it didn't bottom out, unlike other Bugos suspension wheels, especially in the 100 plus pound category. The EX20 absorbed the impact and kept it moving like a champ. And again, because of the overall configuration of the EX20, cruising at higher speeds in excess of 45 miles per hour feels stable and smooth. Cutting and weaving through and around obstacles, to me, feels the same as if I was riding a smaller wheel. In closing, the EX series has gone through and continue to go through a series of enhancements to the tune it can be downright confusing as to which wheel would best suit your needs, wants, and of course your wallet. Where it stands, the EX20 has all the accoutrements that makes this wheel an all-around EUC, barring the weight of course. With that being said, it has the speed, torque, range, suspension, height, and stability that makes it a force to be reckoned with. Sure, the birth of the new arrival, the EX30, will no doubt succeed in areas vulnerable to its predecessor, but if it ain't broke, why try to fix it? Unless the bottom line is on inflation as opposed to stagnation. Just saying. Now that I've come to that part of the video wherein I must bid you guys adieu, I appreciate all the love and support that has been given to me and I ask that you guys continue to support your girl and the channel by turning on your post notifications and subscribing. Your continued support helps the YouTube algorithm to share my videos with other like-minded enthusiasts. Up next will be the review of the Master Pro, so be on the lookout for it within the following week. And as always, hit that like button and comment, good, bad, or indifferent. So until next time guys, deuces.